I saw on YouTube a really interesting mod by Keith from Bonafide Pirate uh, to flatten out the wings of the Nano Talon. They have a fair bit of dihedral in them, which probably doesn't help the flying characteristics. So Keith has come up with some 3D printed brackets to replace the ones under the wing which uh, hold the dihedral so that the wings go flat. Uh, and I saw Matt Ogborn has printed some himself as well from the same design. I don't have access to a 3D printer so I thought I'd sort of do a hack job uh, and try out the flat winged nano talon. Here's how I did it. Sliced out around these brackets here, broken off this little bracket. I'm just about to sort of prise these off so that I can angle the number up at the right angle. And then I'm just going to glue them back together so that this is straight across and the wings will just plug in and have no dihedral. It's a bit of a hack job but uh, I like doing that. And I can just glue them back together very easily. So just pulling that out and all I need to do is glue that back more without the dihedral angle on it. So there's the finished setup. The wing can still click in and out like it did before, making the connections back here to the ailerons uh, and into the sort of center spar there, which holds it flat. It's all ready to go. Let's take it for a fly. All right, nice and early in the morning, very cold, and there's a bit of wind around, but not too much because it's going to get really windy later on. Time to test fly the flat wing mod on the Nano Talon. Let's go. So I've got stabilization on, and I'll try it manual mode when I'm up in the air. Well, that's looking very nice. Not wiggly at all. Flick to manual mode. There's manual mode there. Whoa. That's in manual mode. It's very twitchy in manual mode, but that's uh, as long as you're aware of it, that's fine. Stabilize mode now. Uh, that was sort of launch mode, so that's the other stabilized mode. That looks pretty good. It's flying smoothly. Look at that. Doing a good job. There's a little bit of wiggle about it, that's just the stabiliser doing its job. And there's some wind around. But 
but it's certainly taken out that Dutch rolly sort of falling leaf style of flying. Manual mode. Manual mode's quite smooth. And once you get used to the twitchiness of it, it's fine. <laughs> Haven't done that before with this thing. Yeah, big improvement, I think. Well done, Bonafide Pirate. Your experiment has unleashed a new plane. I might put the battery forward a little bit more, I think. Seems to be a little tail heavy. That's gliding. Gorgeous. All right, CG's forward a little bit more now. Launch in stabilized launch mode. Yeah, that's looking good now. There's about uh, just a five knot breeze probably, but there's probably more up above. Oh, this is much less wiggly. Yeah, it is very twitchy in manual mode. Could do with some uh, expo, I think, but um, certainly flyable once you get used to it. Hard into the sun. Oop. My mate Mark has offered to uh, let me fly his unmodded Nano Talon so we can do a side by side comparison, so that'll be good. But I think this has improved the uh, wobbliness of it quite a lot. Wind's picking up a bit now, but it's doing really well. I always prefer flat wings because we fly in wind all the time. And any sort of dihedral or turned up tips gets affected by uh, turbulent winds. Awesome. That's great. All right, Mobius on the nose now. We'll see how wiggly it is in flight. <laughs>
Well, that's a big success, I think. That has improved it markedly.